this for all the guys. I mean, how much is it reminded of you guys? Like the, it seems like the number one goal now is it's beyond the Big Ten. It's taking that next step when the, the Natty is that something you guys are just constantly embedded in your mind? Yeah, of course. That's all. We all think about the same thing. We all think about the one goal, the national championship goal. We, we, our goal, of course, is to win the Big Ten championship. That's, that's kind of like expected of us now. So just winning the next game after that, that's what we focus on. How hard was it? To, did you guys go back and look at the film? How was it hard to you know sort of get that out of your yeah, mind watched, after the TCU got the game? Yeah, we definitely watched the film over and over, even like on our own time watching it. We all you know talk about it and you know fix up what we have to fix up and um, just know mistakes we made that game couldn't happen again. So we all. We all agree with that. Was there a simple consensus of what the mistakes were in that game? Is it is it, it fixable? I mean, what I mean, it's, it's I obviously that was a team that we hadn't seen. You guys, you guys didn't play like that all year. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, not really just, just one thing, honestly. It's a couple of things, you know, that went into place that game that we lack or lack focus probably. You know, a lot of other things too. Second year uh, under the, the this defensive coordinator, how comfortable are you in this defense and? And where are the steps you've taken individually uh, that you're working on this offseason? Um, yeah, I'm definitely very comfortable in the defense. And like I said, I've been here under two years now. So, you know, I'm more focused on this year, getting more ball, ball production. You know, getting my hands on the ball more and um, getting exceptions, you know, force fumbles, whatever I can to get more ball production and just help the team out. It's, it's a natural thing going is going from a freshman year to now you're an upperclassman. Are you, yeah. How much of a leadership role have you sort of been taking on that you might not, might not have done before? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's kind of flies. So you know, being an old guy, kind of seem weird. You know, what right? I mean? So it's helping the young guys, like you said. Yeah, I mean, I just know I've been in the shoes before. I know how it is. So just helping them out as much as I can with help them build their own confidence, so we can all help contribute this season. We saw a few of them make some plays today. Yeah, Any yeah. guys in particular that been standing out to you in camp? Uh, I like that year Hill a lot. He one of the guys. Um, Keon Sav. He he gonna be a special. Um, a lot, of, a lot of the young guys, actually, I'm probably forgetting some right now. Diddy McBurrows, uh, Marion Walker, a lot of the guys. How is Walker's a unique, unique one? Obviously, a guy who came in as a highly touted wide receiver. Yeah. How's his transition, man? Is it, is uh, it, he's been doing, he's doing real good. You know, he's, he's like a natural, really. He's like long, tall, fast. He can move very well. So once he just learned everything, you know, he can be straight.